Hey, it's Jill again with Quick Flicks. Uh, what I'm going to be working on now, um, I've done these before, but I'm doing it a little bit different with some colors, um, is the Owl Shower Invitation. I'm going to be using my Crocodile um, to attach the wings. And the paper, the glitter paper that I'm using is from the Announcement Converters, and it is the hot pink that I will be using. Absolutely love this glitter paper. It is the best. Um, but anyway, the, they come in the 12 by 12 sheets of paper, um, sheets, and they come in packs of 15 sheets. And then that is one of my elements. The owl itself is, I believe it's, oops. And let me see how large it is. Six and a half inches tall, and he's about, he's about five and a half inches wide. And I've got the big white circles here. It's a print and cut. I used the gradient hot pink on the body and the gradient orange for the feet and the beak. And then just white one and a half inch circles I did um, on the, the Silhouette software. And then it says, look who's having a girl. Please join us for Haley's baby shower. Then I filled in the date, time, place given by an RSVP. Um, and then this will be hand filled out. And then I used for the wings an owl print digital um, pattern I have that I absolutely love. And this one works out perfect because these are actually all the colors for the shower. There's, um, they're, they're so cute. They're just absolutely adorable in this print. That's what I used for the wings. And then I used an offset of the pink for the body. And then I used the offset of the pink glitter for the wings. So let me put one here together. Let me shut my door a little bit here. I think I'm safe from my dogs coming in as often when they hear me because I don't think they hear me anymore. Just realized in the last week, I don't know what's happened, but um, I do believe they are completely deaf. So thankfully they still smell, so they know. Well, thankfully for them, when there's food, when they're getting special treats, at least they can smell it. They can't hear it, but they can smell it. Okay, then I have this Cricut um, scraper to clean the Cricut mats, but I use it for my silhouette mats, and I also use it when you're attaching paper to the glitter. You want to make sure that you have it down really, really tight because you want to make sure it's stuck really good to the glitter. Um, you don't want it peeling. So that is a helpful little hint. I sometimes use a brayer um, to, to do that. Um, however, I do like this little scraper. I can get it on there uh, a little harder than I can with the, with the brayer. And I like that. I like that got a whole bunch of stuff printing out there that's spitting out at me here. Okay, I'm multitasking. You have to let me know how I'm doing on that. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, in my last video I talked so much I think I did very little production and a whole lot of talking. But it's no surprise to most. Okay, there's how the wings are going to go. Let me attach the first one. Love this glitter paper. Love it, love it, love it. Julie, you're going to love these. They are so cute. Now, I eyeball where I'm going to punch it. And I have it about um, a half an inch from the end of the wing in where I'm going to put my little brad. And I'm doing these in different colors because since the party and the owls and all the centerpieces are all going to be nice, bright, bold colors, I'm going to use different colors on the brads 
that I'm using to put the wings on this little guy. And there we go. So Julie, they'll all be a little bit different, but keeping in mind that they're all going to different people as well, it doesn't matter if they're all different. And what I'm going to be using on these is these Mongo googly eyes, and I'm going to be attaching them with my Tomboy glue, not hot glue. Hot glue um, dries really, really thick, and so when you're when you're putting some things on, you don't want to use hot glue because you don't want your your whatever it is you're gluing down. Like for instance, on these eyes, I don't want them bug-eyed where they're sticking out. So I'm just using the Tomboy Quick Dry glue, which I love, and I put the great big googly eyes on it, and then his little wings open up and you can see the wording for the invite. And then he closes his little wings. And, oh, I just, this is one of my favorite invites. I did them in blue not too long ago. Um, didn't have the glitter on them. And when you close his wings, when you close up his wings too, his little feet stick out the bottom. Um, another thing is, I just recently did the video on the centerpiece with the tree that has all the owls on it. Um, there will be, I can't remember offhand because I don't have the paperwork in front of me, a, um, a bunch of centerpieces that will be going um, on the tree and they're all going to have different owls on them. And I will be videotaping that. Uh, there's numerous items that are going to be going along with, with this theme and I'll videotape those, Julie. I'm going to put another one together for you here. See if there's anything else I can think of to tell. I probably wore out my welcome on the last video, so I don't, I don't know. Um, I had made, I don't know if I'd mentioned this um, on any video before, but there's a, a product food line or, or a meal preparation that's called Wild Tree. And if anybody's ever heard of it, I had one of those Wild Tree parties um, that was a get your grill on. So it was meals that you prepare. Everybody comes over and, and they give you a list of all the food to, to buy and how to prepare it as far as cutting it up, like chicken, pork, beef, shrimp, um, tilapia was in the last couple ones I've been to, um, all sorts of different kinds of meats that you get. And that she tells you there's recipes that we're gonna you're gonna make at the food preparation and but you have to have your meat all prepared at the time when you go. And um, I did mine in July at, at my house, and we did it outside. It was really, really fun because it turned out to be a perfect, perfect night, and it was awesome. But anyway, you it's 10 recipes. However, it's so much food that I break each one down into two because you bake them, in, you double bag them in these Ziploc bags and freeze them, and they're all seasoned and ready to go um, and again I cut mine in half so I always end up with 20 meals um, when I do these preparations we had one tonight and I think it was our last one but if anybody ever is invited to these again it's wild tree and if you're ever invited to one of these food preparation parties I highly recommend that you go and again, you have to go out and get all your food. Uh, and I think it's $80 to go, but the $80 buys you all of your spices. And of course, you use your spices there to season everything, but you, um, you go home with, with your recipes. And I think they, the, the person that does the parties that I go to, she sends me, um, she sends everybody a packet of like five recipes per per spice. So there's different things that you can make. Um, but they're so incredibly good. They are so good. And when the parties, when you have a party, you get to pick the type of food you want. Um, I've done, I've done the get your grill on. There's five different ones, I believe, for, for summer, people who have them in the summer. But uh, there's one that's crock pot dinner, crock pot, crock pot dinners, and um, 
again, I, uh, the, the ones for cooking out. And if you ever have a chance to go to one of those parties, I say don't pass it up. And you think, oh my gosh, it's, it's expensive because you go out and buy all the meat and everything. But it really isn't per meal. And it is so nice because uh, to have your freezer full of meals, they're all ready to go. And all you have to do is take them out and throw them on the grill or however it is that you're going to cook them. And then prepare your vegetable and your rice or potatoes or anything like that that you might want to have go with it. Some of them, um, the meals come with the vegetables. I don't like to put my vegetables in when I do them all because I don't like my vegetables all soggy when they freeze and then you cook them they're all soggy but they're healthy they're healthy dinners and they're so good they're so good but we had I think it was my last one tonight and I was going to prepare some I was going to do my food my food prep on Sunday but I had a I don't know what I had going on but I guarantee I had something going on something going on every day I am busy in a cranberry merchant on Thanksgiving Day. There we go, Julie. I hope that you absolutely love these because I do. They are so, so cute. I will get these all done so that they can go out tomorrow. Um, all the elements are cut and ready to go. I just got to sit here and finish putting them together. Um, I don't know what my next video is going to be on. Um, don't know. I think one of them I'm going to do next is I think I'm going to do one on a 12 by 12 inch chipboard. I'm not going to make any promises that that will be the next, but um, it may be a book. I can't remember. I think it's a mini, mini mouse hot pink 12 by 12 chipboard scrapbook. Um, Julie, you've got a book coming too, and maybe I'll do this one. I'm not real sure. I got to go over. I got more things I got to get done. But anyway, for tonight, that will be it. And again, I want to thank all of you that have gone on to the leukemia and lymphoma, lymph, noma, lymphoma um, site and donated. Um, been, it's been awesome. It's been a good day. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.